That's a frosty good morning from Obertron, I think. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, station before Hellstadt. Um, we are leaving for Vienna today. Just got dropped off by a taxi as we discovered that the ferry didn't run that early in the morning. Um, so we got a taxi to the train station. Just about to get on our train now. Very, very icy down here. It's like a skating rink. Very slippery. Lots of black ice. But we're saying goodbye to beautiful Hallstatt and on our way to Vienna. That's Hallstatt from the other side of the lake. So we've reached our first stop, um, waiting for our second train, which is 641, platform 2. We are in carriage 24, and we've got assigned seating on this train. So not quite sure what end of the platform we need to be at, so we'll just hang around and wait for the train to come in, and go from there. The first class and the business class are located in section B. So just notice it's quite helpful here, they've got boards on the platforms. We actually went off the train, downstairs into the, I guess you'd call it the terminal. Um, there was a, like a departure board um, that showed us where to go. On here, RJ641, platform 2. And then over here it actually shows our carriage 24. So we're on section... 2C, which is further down the end here. So that's 25. There's 2C coming up. And number 24. Just jumped off our second train um, in Vienna, waiting for our third train, which is just a short distance regional train, I think it's about 15 minutes, that will take us into downtown Vienna. And then we will find our motel, um, probably a bit too early to check in at the moment, but hopefully we can leave our bags there, and then go for a bit of a toot around the city and see what's around. Oh, there we go, we're S2, so got a five minute wait. So that's not too bad because I actually got an email from the train company to say that there was a delay then I got another email to say that there was no delay so five minutes is pretty good we can sit and chill for a bit because most times when we swap trains it's literally off one race across the platform onto the next with no time in between train and we are done now it is a 700 meter walk to our hotel can you start again please my hip was So hello again from Budapest in Hungary. It's been a couple of days since we have filmed anything. Um, we did a bit of a transit stop through Vienna in Austria. Um, that was mainly just a gateway for us to be able to get to Budapest um, without having to fly because our next stop is Croatia. Um, we were in Budapest for about three days, three, four days I think it is. Um, so yeah, we've just taken a break in Vienna. We went and saw St. Stephen's Cathedral, um, had a wander around the city, but didn't really film anything because we just had some downtime as a family. 
um, but we're now in Budapest and we have just arrived in St Margaret's Park. Um, bit of a late start today, we had to get my phone sorted out because um, I do most of the navigating um, on Google Maps while we're out and about because um, for some reason my phone is a lot easier to use than Adam's because he's got a lot of the business stuff on his phone um, so it's pretty chocker and for some reason mine just seems to have a bit of a better layout so it's easier um, so we had to go to a mall and get my sim card sorted out which was a bit of a mission so we've come to Margaret Island um, this afternoon for a bit of a look around and Adam's found some quite interesting bits and pieces to have a look at so just going to go over and now to him and the girls and see where we're off to what you find out there's a playground over there oh the kids are taking off over to the playground are they yeah so have you found your fountain and the musical thing is Musical fountain number six. Number six. Oh, so that's right at the start. Ooh, that's far away. Right, so apparently there is a mini zoo which we're going to go and peruse. So the kids were singing the zoo song, but now they've stopped. I would never do that. You would so do that, Emma. I would never ever Lexi said before it's like we're in a series of unfortunate events. There's all these crows circling ready to pick our bones apparently as we're going to Count Olaf's place. I guess it is just good that we don't have an issue with birds because, um, yeah, they are pretty big and there are quite a few of them. Apparently Adam said too there's also um, squirrels that run around here, um, haven't seen any yet. Not sure if we would see any but then we were in Canada in the middle of winter as well and saw heaps of squirrels so not sure what the Hungarian squirrels habits are but um, we're also on the lookout for them or whether it's too early in the evening I'm not really quite sure. Um, in Canada they were out sort of you know all time of the day and night um, haven't seen one yet but we're definitely keeping an eye out so haven't made it to the mini farm yet but or the mini zoo but we have found the Danube River found ourselves a little mini farm. It's kind of cool as part of the mini zoo. Um, there's actually a bird sanctuary. There's birds there that sort of look like eagles or a similar bird and there's a sign here for the bird sanctuary and it says once our rescues can look after themselves they are released into their natural habitats. The majority of those that would not be able to survive in the wild will find their forever homes here at the Margits to get small animal zoo sorry no idea how to pronounce that those remaining at the small animal zoo are either no longer capable of looking after themselves for example they can no longer fly or would pose a threat in their natural habitat so that's quite cool they're permanent residents here now or not sure which ones are permanent and which ones can be released 
but yeah, that's kind of cool that they're kept here. Oh, there's quite a few kept here as rescues. There's quite a few in that cage as well. Just getting a gorgeous sunset here, but unfortunately can't get really close enough in time to see it. Um, it's just gone five past four and sun going down already. That was the little Budapest Zoo farm park. Quite cute and yeah, really quite good that they've got the bird sanctuary in there to rehabilitate and hopefully release most of the birds. So there's the water tower there, which apparently you're able to go up. Um, but it's 4.30 at night in the afternoon now, so I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to go up, whether it's open at a certain times only, because it's looking a bit dark and closed around here. But we're going to go and have a look anyway, because I imagine it would be a fantastic view from the top up there. Nope, unfortunately water tower's closed. Um, our next stop, I think, is going to be a musical fountain which plays at 5, 6 and 7 p.m. So we're just going to head down there now because it's at the start of the park where we came in. So we've got about I guess 20-25 minutes to wander down there and find out where we go. So we found the musical fountain, but it actually translates as musical well. Um, yeah, it's about 4.45 at the moment. The music supposedly comes on at 5. Um, it's getting a bit dark, so I might need to swap from the GoPro and use my phone, and hopefully that'll have better light. I'm just going to go up to the top and have a look and wait for 5 o'clock and see what happens. So yeah, a bit dark up here, so I'll swap to my phone in a minute and get footage on that as well, so that we've got both. Right, we're at the musical well. I've just switched to my phone because um, the lighting seems to be a bit better. So hopefully the footage will come out okay. Um, yeah, still a bit dark up here. It's 4:45 um, in the afternoon, evening, and the sun started to set at about four, four o'clock. Um, so it's pretty dark here, but hopefully you can get a decent view. Danube River at night, 
really quite pretty down here with all the lights on. Oops, just got grunted at by a couple of runners.